Hello everybody! So today I am going to be doing my April book haul. Yes, last book haul I did say, this is going to be my last book haul for a while, but does Kate ever actually abide by a book buying ban? No. So today I have 15 books to haul for you guys. So they're all from different places, so I kind of have grouped them into like where slash when I bought them. So without further ado, let's just get right on into this. So I'm going to start with the two books that I just bought. Um, randomly from different places. The first one is one that I bought off of Amazon. This I have shown, actually most of these books I've shown in vlogs that I've gone up throughout the month, but the first book that I have here is The Strange Bird by Jeff Vandermeer. I have already read this book and I loved it. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. This is a short story that goes along in the Bourne universe and we actually get some cameos from characters that we met in Bourne and I really really enjoyed this. I love Jeff Vandermeer because as I've said a hundred times with other authors, I'm a really big fan of when authors just don't sugarcoat anything and this was such a weird little story but also like was very like deep almost but this follows like a strange little bird that kind of bad guys of the Bourne universe created and it's life after it has left the lab that it was created in and yeah I loved this if you guys have read Bourne and were a fan I would definitely highly recommend getting this and if you like Jeff Vandermeer pick up Bourne I cannot recommend Bourne enough the next book that I have to show you guys is one that I just picked up from Target randomly and that was Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. This is a book that has been going around booktube for quite some time but I was actually pretty highly anticipating it from a while ago um, and I am currently reading this. This is marketed as like an online friendship, platonic friendship and that's what I bought it thinking that it was going to be but so far 150 pages into it it is not that at all so I'm just warning you guys honestly the back of the book kind of lies um just a little bit I am still reading it it has put me in a little bit of a slump because I wanted a platonic online friendship and that is not what I'm getting from this book but I mean it's a very pretty book and it's been going around so I'm hoping it's better than the first 130 pages the next two books are ones I picked up from a little used or a little local bookstore um, in my town and I picked up two books from their discounted bargain section because I just got really excited when I saw them. The first one is Manazuru by Hiroi, Hiromi Kawakami. Um, I have read her other two books, Strange Weather in Tokyo and The Nakano Thrift Shop, and I really, really enjoyed them. So when I saw this one, I just had to pick it up. It doesn't match my other two, but it was super cheap because it was in the used section, so I figured I would pick it up. These are always just really nice. She always writes very like quiet, slow, Japanese, just Japanese stories because she is Japanese. And I just, sometimes I'm really in the mood for those. Sometimes I just really like a quiet, slow little story and that's where Japanese literature thrives. And then the next one I'm very, very concerned about. So if you guys have read this book, just tell me down in the comments what you thought of it. But is the lowest book, like lowest average rating book I've ever seen in my life on Goodreads. Um, and that is The Uncoupling by Meg Wolitzer. I picked this up because, first off, the cover reminds me a lot of Celeste Ng's Little Fires Everywhere, which I adored. But I also, I keep trying to give Meg Wolitzer a chance, but I've literally hated everything I've read by her, but I was like, oh, this one seems like it'll be really good, like, I haven't really heard much about it, and then I went on Goodreads, and the average rating of this book is like a 2.8 or something crazy like that, and now I have very, very low expectations. So if you guys have read this, I'm just, I literally have no idea what it's about, do you guys think I should even bother? I'm kind of leaning towards maybe I'm not going to bother with this one, but it is really short. I wish I checked Goodreads before I bought this. In the next three books, I placed a book outlet order. Y'all know how I feel about book outlet, but I was getting desperate because this book, this first book, is one I could not find anywhere else. It was only on Book Depository or other places for literally like $20. And I was just not about that life because it is a tiny book that I read in literally one sitting. So. I was not going to pay 20 bucks for a one sitting book. And that is The White Book by Han Kang. This is obviously Han Kang's newest English translated work and it is nominated for the Man Booker Pri International Prize which is why I obviously picked it up. I have adored everything Han Kang has written ha that has been translated into English. Um, she is a Korean writer and this book follows a kind of three part story following characters but also following white 
things. The entire book is written in like very small little passages about white things. So like, so like this page here is about small white pills. So like each section of this story is about something white and each thing is like really really short. So like this is like handkerchief. It, everything is like within like a tiny paragraph like this or like a page or two and I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Obviously I highlighted the crap out of my copy. So I'm very happy I bought this but I'm mad that I had to use book depository. But because I was ordering off of them anyways I did decide to buy a couple of two other books because I just wanted the UK covers because why not? The first one is one that I have heard some things about but not too much but honestly I'm just really in the mood for this after reading Sleeping Giants by Sylvan Neuville. I'm just really in the mood for sci-fi, aliens, robots kind of thing. And that is Autonomous by Annalie Newitz. First off I love this cover. I think this is the UK paperback. Um, I just love the orange a lot. And I honestly have no clue what this is about, but I'm almost positive it's sci-fi and I'm almost positive it has to do with aliens or robots or something like that. So that's why I decided to pick it up and I'm really, really excited to read this one. And the last book I got from Book Depository was Kate wanting a paperback of a book that she really, really wanted because I hate hardcovers and how expensive they are and I just don't like hardcovers that much. And that is The Astonishing Color of After by Emily X. R. Pan. I love this cover. Like, I really like the American cover, but I just am really feeling this UK cover. I'm, I'm a big fan. Um, this is about a young girl whose mom dies and she believes becomes a bird and it is her journey to find her mom who is a bird and bring her back and on this journey she discovers a lot about her background and about her homeland which I believe she's like Thai or Ta Taiwanese? I think this is going to be a great book and I'm really really excited. I've heard a lot of really amazing things so I'm really happy I picked up this version of it though. I really really like this. And then I placed a book outlet order. The main reason I made this order, because like I did have one last month, but I mean a lot of good books came in stock, but like the main reason I placed this order was Dreaming Sun Volume 1 through 3. This is by the creator of Orange, Ichigo Takano, and I love Orange. I was a big fan. I feel like it was one of the few like really really popular mangas recently that I've just been adoring, and I found myself really really liking shoujo recently. I used to be very much a shonen person, but I've just been really enjoying really cute fluffy shoujos, so I picked up the first three volumes of this. I'm currently reading volume one, and it's really cute so far. It's, it's about a girl who runs away from home, and she just happens upon a landlord who gives her a room, and she is living in a house with like three boys, so I'm assuming hijinks ensues. And then obviously to make this order like $35 so I got free shipping, I got a couple of other books. The first one being Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinbro. This is a thriller that seems very polarizing. People either love it or hate it. I have been told that the ending is just insane and it's one of those things that either someone's going to adore or they're going to hate. And I usually am on the side with thrillers when something really crazy and out of left field happens. I really like it. So I just decided to pick this one up. I've been really, really liking thrillers, especially adult thrillers, and this one just seems great. It literally says like on, I think it might be the Goodreads description, but it's like, this doesn't go where you think it's going to go. So I am very excited for this one. I just, I've been stocking up on thrillers. I love them. The next one is a book that I decided to pick up because of Katie from Chapter Stacks. I love Katie and I really like her book recommendations because she doesn't read that much and she is very critical of the books that she does read. So when she loves something, I usually try to pick it up because I feel like I'll love it too. And so I decided to pick up Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. I've never read Karen Slaughter before, but when Katie was talking about this book in one of her more recent videos, I just could not say no. This is another adult thriller and I hear it and she described it as like, it's not one of those books that you pick up to like read on a plane or read at the beach kind of thrillers. This is like gruesome and gory and like bloody. And I am so about that because I've been kind of like, I really like thrillers, but I also like the gore from thrillers. Like, I really want something like this. So, I have not read the back. I have no clue what it's about. I'm just going off Katie's recommendation, and I'm very excited for this one. The next one I got was a YA contemporary magical realism that I've kind of had my eye on for a while. I was honestly going to get it from the library, but it popped up on Book Depository, not Book Outlet, and I need to make $35. So, 
why not? And I picked up Wild Beauty by Anna Marie Mecklemore. I've never read anything by her, but this is about a family of women who can make flowers grow, so magical realism-y kind of thing, and then something happens, like some kid goes missing maybe? I don't know, it's beautiful though. And we're going into summer, so I usually really like YA contemporaries during the summer. Actually, honestly, I've just been really enjoying contemporaries recently, so no regrets. The next book I picked up was Solid Hair by Alice Oseman. In my last book haul, I had gotten Radio Silence by Alice Oseman, and let me tell you, or actually like two book hauls ago, I got Radio Silence. Let me tell you, I loved Radio Silence. I have no clue what it's about. All I know is it's Alice Oseman, and I am here for it. I want to read everything this woman has written. And the last book is another sci-fi alien book, because again, I'm really in the mood for this after it's Sleeping Giant. And this is one that Emily from Emily Fox, I'll link her down below obviously, um, was talking about in one of her videos and I just thought it sounded really really great and that is The Humans by Matt Haig. This has gotten like a lot of different praises, I've not really seen anyone else read it besides Emily, but I am so excited for this one. Again, just I'm really in the mood for some sci-fi alien robots. Like I'm here for that right now. So. I'm definitely going to be picking up this one very, very soon. Oh no, oh no. These are all of the books that I bought in the past month. Yeah, Kate was trying to go on a book buying ban, what? <laughs> yeah, those are all of the books that I bought this month, but honestly, I've read quite a few of them. Some of them are manga, like, and I'm also in a reading mood. So like, one of them was an anticipated release. I have, actually a couple of them were anticipated releases. Three of them were, so I have, no regrets. But anyways, that is all for this video. Again, if you guys have read any of these, definitely leave me down in the comments below what you thought of them, especially the uncoupling. Should I just unhaul it? Or should I give a chance? Like, is it good? I can't believe it's good if it has that low of a rating on Goodreads, if I'm completely honest. But yeah, definitely tell me if you guys have read any of these books and which ones I should bump to the top of my TBR. Anything like that. And I love you all and I'll see y'all soon. Bye. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I dropped all the books! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> That's fine. Everything's fine. Oh yeah, Justin's been here the whole time. Hi, she Justin! yells at me because I moved <laughs> my foot an inch! I could hear it! Okay, now bye-bye! Good night. Bye!